What's up, y'all? It's Ace Toolhead. Y'all's now tuning in to Hip Hop since 1987. Let's get it. Hip Hop since 1987.com. My name is Alana Malara, and I am now back with another episode of Talk To Me, and my new guest is H2O Head. So, we're from the so, same place. What part of the city are you from? He's from North Philadelphia, Philly. by the way. North Philly. North Philly? Born and raised? How old are you? 18. I just turned 18. 29th, October. Okay, okay. So, I see a lot of um, young Philly artists. Just popping up out of the Google. And y'all yeah. just, like really making a whole lot of noise. It's actually pretty crazy. So how does it feel to come out of a city where, you know, it's kind of hard? Like, you know how Meek kind of was calling it the belly of the beast. It really is. That. Yeah. So how would you describe being so young and finding the avenue to get out of it? No, I feel like, I feel like it wasn't really no challenge because we was born into this. So like, I feel like. Mm-hmm. It was just building towards it felt regular. I ain't feel like no struggle while we was coming up. Like everything just felt like it was in place. And then whatever I, whatever I ain't had, I had later. I had held down to me. So I don't know. I ain't feel no no struggle. I ain't feel like I was in no. I was at, I was ever at the bottom. Mm-hmm. And how? Like when did you start making music? When did that become an outlet? Start making. I started making music on a thing. The beginning of ninth grade. Beginning of ninth grade. You were like 14? Yeah, 14, 15. I think mm-hmm. I was 15. And that's when you started taking it serious, or that's when you just started playing around with it? Oh, that's when I first ever went to the studio, like ever. Okay. Like, I, 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 uh, I went to a high school, and it was like four four people I used to hang out with. Mm-hmm. And they uh they came in one day, they was like, we're going to go to the studio. And I just invited myself, I'm like, I'm going with y'all. And then I guess they was rap. They was rapping, and I guess they ain't had nothing else to say. So they told me to go in there, and I was just freestyle. And I like how it was sound, so I just kept going. Okay. So I guess what would you say your breakout song would be so far? Like, what song did would you say you most recently dropped that brought you a whole lot of attention? Back then. Back then? Back then. I blew up off of back then. Okay. So you blew up off of back then, so... Between the release of back then and now, what is your motivation to, you know, keep the transition transitioning? Because you started off from playing around in the studio to blowing up off of one song. So what's keep like it going? The, the motivation from other artists, like how fast you see other artists come up, that should make you want to, that should make you want to grow harder. Want to do, want to do the shit they doing. Okay. And because you said that, who are you inspired by? A couple artists in my city. Okay. Name Young Rick. Little Rick. Mm-hmm. Rick. Young K. It's a lot of people. Little Red. It's a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. And outside of your city, do you have any legendary influences? No. No, hip hop, not that old. So you got the Biggies, the NWAs, the Tupac, da, 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 da. like, do you have any of those? I really grew up off of Meek, though. Meek, is, of Meek is your generation, so Meek still counts, you know? Yeah. So, okay, Meek. So do you have any, like, you know, future collaborations in this? Let's start in the city. Do you have any future collaborations that you would like to make happen? No, not really. I feel like, I feel like I don't want to force anything. I feel like I just want to. We meet, we just meet. If it's, you want it to be genuine art. If it's, if it's like, it. Yeah, right, you got to put love into the stuff you put out. That's why people love it. So it can't be forced. I definitely agree. I just always ask that question because I want to see where people's heads are. Like, are you big on, you know, not riding another coattail, but like making your yeah. artwork with someone else? Or are you big on making your artwork for yourself? Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. I just, I ain't got no problem. I just feel like it should be genuine. That should be forced. It shouldn't be forced, right? You want to do your own work first, and if it comes, it comes. Right. That's exactly what I meant. Um. So, what is your goal in this last part of the fourth quarter? Because you know it's the end of the year, going into a new year. And, and this tape, I'm about to finish this tape. 
Well, uh, working on dying. I'm about to finish this tape. Working on dying. I think two working tapes. On, I ain't going crazy right now. They yeah, going they crazy. <laughs> so that's a good look. Uh-huh. Okay. So can we expect any new visuals? Besides know, the movie, to, like visuals. I'm about to, I'm about to, I just uh I just dropped a visual, a visual called Trust Issues like four weeks ago. I think it's at like 80K right now, 85K. Go run that up. But I just uh, I just shot a visual called Message, Message to the Hood. Okay. And it, didn't release right yet. Like it didn't release yet, right? No, it's not released. Okay. So is that like an end of the year kind of visual treat? Yeah. Okay. Like the end of the mm-hmm. Have you done shows? Like you've been rapping for a little while. I, Have you performed yet? Oh, what is Corona? I had opened up for Lil Baby, but after that, it wasn't. Yeah, of course. Because, right. So, all right. Tell me. So that was the only show you've ever done. Yeah. Okay. So your That's first show, right. you opening up for Lil Baby, and it's your first show. Period. So tell me about that experience. Like taking your talent from sharing it on the internet and complete strangers listening to you to being in front of complete strangers and getting a reaction so tell me about that first at first i was there but i like i seen other people with, like i seen i heard other people music and how other people was talking to me it motivated me like i think uh it was like some spanish kid had came up to joint he had came up the uh stage and was like you ain't still had you sing back then i'm like yeah as soon as he said that send me through the roof i'm like oh i got this this is easy Okay, so like basically, one of the good parts was you being, or you realizing that people actually recognize who you are. Yeah. yeah. Like the recognition does matter. Like a lot of people make music for themselves first and foremost, but your audience does matter. So it's pretty cool right. when you're working hard and somebody acknowledges the fact that they see you doing that. So do you have any um, like undying wishes in the next five years? Like. A place you want to perform at, like you know what I'm saying, a kind of genre you want to tap into, things like that. Being in a movie, like you got any other entertainment goals outside of being an artist? I want to go to London. You want to perform in London, okay? So, how would you say you're gonna go about tapping into an international fan base? No, <laughs> like, going and keep striving. Yeah. Tapping in the other genres, uh-huh. the artists, things like that. Well, eventually blend in there. And then. Right. All right. So, what's your goal for 2021? Like, you don't got to give us the drop, but what's your overall goal? I want to mainstream. I want to go mainstream. Okay. I wanna go mainstream. That's what I'm going to try my hardest at doing. It's pretty attainable. You're definitely doing what you need to do right now. So, yeah. yeah. And where can we keep up with you? Social media wise, so you too. Go ahead, everywhere. They sure had one or two D's. Two D's. You had to think about it. Two D's. Two D's. I ain't never never had to think about my name, so that's just fuck me up. That's great. Okay, well, y'all know where to find him. So it's H two O Head Two D's. And you can follow us at Hip Hop Since 1987. And stay tuned for his mixtape is coming out. And he got a visual treat coming out for the end of the year as well. So stay tuned. Thank you for talking to me, Head. All right, yeah.